This is just an update video. So getting ready to head on out. I've been in Jacksonville for the past couple of months. I was here on a nursing contract uh, at Baptist Medical. And then as of November 15th, the vaccine mandate at the hospital kicks in. And I was no longer allowed to work. Uh, it is what it is. I was prepared for it, despite having come out here being pre-approved right, to work with a exemption letter. But it is what it is. I made good money while I was out here. Can't complain. So you take the money and you run and you make use of it. And you just try to do your best to buy to buy assets, to buy things that you know that you'll be able to use in the future, to earn a living, create a business, etc. So from here, I was originally supposed to go to Miami. I had gotten an offer from a hospital out in Miami to do a 13-week contract, but the agency that I was going through was kind of iffy. I don't like when people are disingenuous. Uh, about <clears throat> giving me the information for the contract. And I just had a gut feeling and I decided, you know what? I'm not going to go with, with, I'm not going to go with you guys. I went a different way. So I get offers constantly as a nurse to come and do contracts. Now, of course, because I'm not vaccinated, sometimes that poses a, poses a, a threat. You know, <clears throat> they'll say, well, you need to get it or well, maybe we can put in for an exemption. And some hospitals have no um, some hospitals don't have mandates. Florida has mandates, despite, you know, Ron DeSantis out there talking about, you know, we're not going to let them take your jobs, you know, all that nonsense. The reality is, is that there are mandates here in Florida, even in Texas, even in Texas, for all you people that like, we're free out here, right? This ain't no Democratic. This isn't no Democratic state. We're Republicans out here. We're free. And yet, when I question from the agencies about does the hospital have a vaccine mandate they're like yes they do they have a vaccine mandate oh how odd i thought texas didn't have any of those things but this is the narrative you know it's kind of it's there it's pat you on the back saying don't worry we got you that's kind of what all this is and so that's where it starts in the republican states i mean this isn't the route that i wanted this video to go but in the but that's how they start they start right just like in new york right who do they start with they started with Nurses and doctors, like right, like myself, right? We started with healthcare workers, and once they got the healthcare workers, then they moved on to police, fire, sanitation, etc. The reason being is because nursing is primarily made up of women, and women aren't going to push back. M majoritively speaking, right? Statistically speaking, women aren't going to go out there and march and say we're not gonna we're not gonna do it. Most of these nurses are young ignorant for the for the most part i think in in <clears throat> here in, in baptist the average age of the nurse was 25 because so many of their more seasoned nurses either you know retired or quit from last year so the average age plummeted down to 25 meaning that the average experience of the nurses that are caring for patients that are sick and elderly is typically one to two years of nursing experience and that typically ends in patient mortality when you have too high a ratio of novice, right? Novice nurses because they lack experience, just like in any job, just like in, in any job or any field. When you have too many people who are new, it doesn't necessarily mean that it, more than likely it's not going to go well because you don't have the experience and the wealth of knowledge to draw from. But in any event, found a good contract excellent pay can't complain about the pay going in for 10 weeks going out to ohio ohio i've never, never been to ohio but this was a better option kind of worked out i had a feeling that the last place uh was skimping me on the pay and so i was like you know what i thought about it prayed on it decided not to go that route a day or two later got a better offer so it worked out no 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 mandate just need to put in an exemption letter and of course it's for uh step down progressive icu level care that's what we'll, that's where we'll be going next uh, but i was actually surprised you know my my time out here in florida it was uh, at least here in jacksonville right because i haven't had the opportunity to go everywhere i'm sure places like in miami where maybe the 
the people are younger, that the maybe the atmosphere is different. And young people always have the mentality, you know, feeling indestructible. But here in Jacksonville, that, that has not been the case. Most of the people here have swallowed the Kool-Aid. Most of the people here have, have drank the Kool-Aid. Um, I see a lot of people, even till this day, with a mask. I, was, uh, I went out to eat yesterday to a Thai restaurant. And the people were sitting down, obviously eating with no masks on. And then they get up and put their masks back on. And then walk out of the restaurant and take their masks off. And I was just like... What are we doing here? And then uh, there was another lady who was accompanying the other woman that that had, took her mask off when she walked out. And she had on a visor, like the visor that we wear for like patients with flu. I mean, typically what, you know, we'll, we'll use a, a visor or a face shield uh, for patients with flu. And she was, and I, I looked over at her and I was like, what the hell is she wearing? And then she just smiled at me and I was just like, you can't do nothing about that. You can't do nothing about people who are just feared. They're, you know, they're afraid. There's no amount of logic that, especially for women, because these are two women, especially for women, women by nature are fearful because they don't have the ability to affect their environment. Women adapt to the environment that they're placed in. It's very important to understand. Men are the ones that go out and battle nations and change an environment. Just look at history. That's the fact. And so for the decades that have gone by in the West where, you know, governments and politicians have told women, you don't need no man. You're strong. You're independent. But the result is, is that they don't have that strength to draw from, from a strong man in the home. And so they live their lives in fear, dependent upon police, dependent upon, you know, fire. If there's a fire in the home, dependent upon, you know, insert whatever man in whatever position typically the husband would fulfill. If there was an electrical problem in the home, plumbing issue in the home, right? Car needed to be fixed. You know, you look back in the days, typically... The husband was the one who did many of these minor repairs. But nowadays, women are completely dependent upon the government and upon the system of things. And they live their lives more in fear now than when they had husbands in the home. But anyway, this is where we're at. So moving on to Ohio, we'll see where we go from there. Again, it's only a 10-week contract. The numbers, of course, are going up. Like I said, why? It's flu season. So they have to account for why is it? Right, because there's not there's no good, not going to be any flu. The flu will never come back. The flu will never come back. That's a fact. Unless nations get toppled and governments get overthrown, we will never hear again of the flu. We are living in a time period where things are not going to get better in terms of you know the pandemic. The pandemic will perpetually be here. It's going to be a couple of articles. That I'll be covering. It's early in the morning. It's already six. I'm already up. Went out to a Starbucks across the street. Got me a coffee. Got me some breakfast. Sitting down doing some reading and of course preparing for uh, the morning videos to be made. Waiting for the stock market to get open. Got to finish packing. Getting ready to leave. More than likely going to be leaving tomorrow. I did all of my paperwork that was required. How to do exams and competency tests and etc. Drug screen, background check, all that stuff. It was like every every couple of months, it's the same routine. Background check, you know, get screened by a doctor, uh, urine test, you know, check, you make sure your meat is up to date, all that nonsense. Anyway, that's basically what my life is going to be until I can no longer, until I can no longer do it. I'm just basically biding my time and looking long term on the horizon, looking for a way out. Where Where will I go next is basically what my life will be as an unvaccinated nurse. And it's not because I haven't done any of the research. I post a lot of these videos as a part of the research that I do. And it forces me to dig deeper. It forces me to think more deeper, right, about what's going on. Not just making surface level 
um, diagnoses, so to speak, not making assertions just on what I see on the surface, but where potentially things will go long term and how I'll be able to move within the system of things. Because whole family, whole family took it. I'm the only one that didn't take it. I'm the only person who works in healthcare, and I'm the only one that didn't take it. All my all my family members, for the most part, have have taken it. They're like, oh, I'm okay. And I'll be like, all right, you do that. You do that. That's your choice. And it's funny because they're like, uh, I was like going to stop by before my next assignment, and my dad was like, oh, you need go, you need to get your negative test before you come. Before you come over, because, you know, you work with them, you work with them patients. And I was like, but aren't you all y'all vaccinated? It's like, don't, haven't you all got your triple jabs? But kind of is what it is. Who knows? Maybe I'll never see, you know, my family again. Just kind of <laughs> the video will be the like my update for them. And I'll just text them until these people realize that they have been fooled. And many of them just choose to be fooled. Right? Just want, go with the system of things. Just go with the system of things. Roll with the punches. It is what it is. You know, you can't do nothing. We're slaves. And this is the nature of the beast. For people like me, that may not be the case. You know, it was weird because, I, you know, growing up, we always used to hear, you know, those crazy hermits out there living in the country off grid, you know, telling you all this stuff. Don't get a cell phone and all this craziness. Don't get a bank account. My old boss used to be that. My first boss when I was 14. He was always like, oh, like, whatever you do, don't get yourself on the grid. He's like, once you're on the grid, they got you. And he was in the military, old Italian guy that I worked for when I used to live out of New York a long time ago. And he used to say the same thing. You know, don't get on the grid. Once you're on the grid, they got you. He's like, once you're a number in the system, he was like, they got you. The government's going to come for you. Every I was like, you crazy old man. What you talking about? Like, you living good out here. Years, years, and two decades later, I now understand, you know, what he was talking about. I now understand what he's talking about. It's like once you're on there, you know, you got a smartphone, track you no problem. You go old school, flip phone, Motorola's, you know, the brick phones. Living out in the woods, living off the land seems pretty good right, right, right about now. But I don't think that's going to be an option for a lot of Americans. They're trying to hurt people in the cities, what it looks like. Anyways, anyways, so I'm going to finish up my reading. I got a couple of videos that we're going to talk about. Just a brief, what we're going to t cover is um, the most up-to-date information for the vaccine. Like I said, three months. And it's already been confirmed. We're going to cover that in a video that I'm going to do shortly. As well as another point that I brought out where I talked about um, during Brexit with Germany. When Germany and the UK were not able to come to some sort of agreement the narrative became, it looks like you got a variant and we're going to have to step back from the negotiation table until you go ahead and deal with that. And we're going to cover how that's being played out again right now in front of our eyes. I'm going to cover an article that discusses that. But I'm going to leave it here for now. This, is get, this video is getting a little bit long. hope this message finds you well. I hope you're thinking and meditating and, and making decisions and making plans for your future. Because there's going to be a lot of people who are triple jab that are not going to take the fourth and they're going to want to know what to do next. There's going to be people who are quadruple jabbed and they're like, you know what? I'm not doing this fifth one because maybe I had some sort of a side effect. Maybe I had myocarditis. Maybe somebody in my family died and it forces them to wake up. And when those individuals start to wake up and they accept the red pill, as they say, they're going to want, they're going to start looking for answers. They're going to start frantically on YouTube, right? looking for videos and then they're going to catch videos from way, way back of people who, who warn and then it's going to be like a light bulb turns on. And then the, the reality of once that person is awake, they can't be put back to sleep. Once that person is awake, it's just like the matrix. Once, once you are awake to the system of things, you cannot go back to sleep. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to start up on some of these videos. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.